welcome guys we're gonna do the Mamba Guns Mexico little preview of it so we've got a few new countries there Australia Canada who else have we got over you might not have seen Netherlands but that's the one we're gonna do today Mexico So we're non-aligned. We have a weak church. Factory output for ten percent. Politicized army. Military leaders cost a lot on planning speed is reduced. And this oil concessions puts our oil under foreign control. So we'll have to sort that out. We are one of Latin America's most influential nations. We should demonstrate our commitment to the security of the world. Hispanic Alliance and smash the bureaucrats. Let's do this, baby. There we go. Save and play. Mexico. So what I'd like to do is start pushing into Central America. Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua. That Costa Rica. If we get Panama, that'd be great. That's Guatemala. El Salvador, right. So we've got a few things down there to look at for future. What we will do is get our not tanks or planes. Let's get tanks in. Civilian factories. I could do with infrastructure really, shouldn't I? Let's just get some civvy factories in first. And then we'll get a couple of military ones there and there. And there. That's what I'll do for early on. Now let's take a look at the focus tree. This is Mexico specific. We've got the National Bank. No national focus prerequisites. Grants industrial research speed 10% and economic law minus 25%. And that pulls us down. So we've got communism down there. Revolt to Mutual Exclusive, right. Privatization, striking break. Institutional revolution. What I'd like to do is go fascist if I can. Which way would take me down the fascist route? That'd be this one, wouldn't it? Hispanic culture. Ban political militias. Becomes a field marshal. Let's have a read of it. The revolutionary against theirs and the vicious infighting afterwards lasted for decades. When the dust was settled, the victorious northern generals met at Aguaya Pretra, Sunera, to lay out their plans for Mexico's future. They were popularized cliches of modernizers and secretaries. Okay, or else a confederation no better than bandits dividing their spoils. Ooh. Okay, and what does National Bank, formed in 1925 to rebuild the economy, shattered by civil war, a Banco de Mexico is a lender of last resort, issuer of currency and investor in all manner of ventures for the interest of the state. Let's do this one first. We've got 
no one in training. I do have quite a few divisions. You boys. You boys can go on that border. And you boys. I'm going to put you on the Guatemalan border. There we go. Right. Let's get time moving. Right, there we go. So they're all ready. So we'll have a look in a minute at the new um, templates. And the Americans are pushing on my border there already. Let's get you just training and you as well. What are these? These are like special forces, I take it. And they're normal and they're cavalry. Let's just get another set of units just ready to go. My production plan de Eguaro Prietra Legacy of Revolution. The former president Peltegaro Cales served his term between 1924 and 1928. His misrule incited the Cristero Wars and countless minor rebellions. Now he seeks to dominate President Cardenza's as he controls the last few puppet presidents. Cardenza is his own democratic mandate, his own plan for the future. And Callis needs to leave for the sake of stability. Okay, should we get rid of him? There you go. Get out of my country, boy. Right, so we're pushing that guy out. My border with the US is protected now. We've just got to watch. See, Guatemala is protected by America. As is El Salvador. Haiti is their own, but they're protected as well. So we're going to have to look at that, aren't we? Let's be careful. Our internal enemies are still organizing against us. We must be ready to face any threat. We should muster our supporters and to demonstrate the show of un unconquerable will. Uh, all of the following must be true. Okay. And what have we got down here? Anti fascists or anti democratic? I'd rather have anti-democratic raids. There you go. We'll get rid of democracy. We do not want democracy. Ah, the English look like they're looking at their colonial policy. We've exiled that guy. The army is perhaps the most important. Because, yeah, we know that. So we want to control the army, don't we? Rogue generals are there for a threat. Very true. Right, so we're going to take control of the armies. I've got 2.4 years worth of fuel. That's one of the new things you'll notice up here. This tells you how much fuel you have. And explains how it's all used as well. So that's a new feature. This tells you your convoys as well. So they've added quite a few new things in there. More decisions available. Many crimes committed on both sides during the Cristada. I've opened the wounds which are still not healed, like shining a light in the injustice of recent past. 
perhaps we, sh we should help prevent abuses in the future. Okay, increases my stability, but it reduces the war support, which I do not want. So we'll leave those decisions for now. We'll come back to them in a bit. So let's have a little look at these ships. That's the division. How do we design ships? Where would that be, do you think? Ship designer? What are we missing on there? Infantry equipment. Yeah, because we're upgrading, aren't we? Let's keep the time running while I'm trying to figure it out. So we've got a little. There we go, we control the army now, that's good. Now, what do we do? Repel them. Oh, pause it. Do we want an assertive church? Or do we enforce them? And become an atheist state? That's a possibility. Anti disestablishmentarianism. One of the followers must be true. Rewrite the constitution. Wow, that sounds like we've become a real crusade against atheism. March southwards. British Honduras and all others. Claims gained by Mexico. Integrate the south. Wow, that's the path I want to go down. This is the one we want to head towards, don't we? So we need this one. Now to get this one, we need assertive, powerful, or Catholic to be our national spirit. So if we repel the laws, we can then head down that tech tree. Okie dokie. Right, is that my... Yep. So let's do support equipment. Outdated equipment being produced. There we go. Let's stop making these planes. Let's try and get those done first. So we've got a few events we can do now. Nationalise church land. Or we could do this one. Christo Traitor. The rebels have took up arms against the state as have no pity and received no mercy. But the terms of peace negotiated with the church leaders was meant to close hostilities. We know that the traitors will take up arms again if they get the chance. I don't want to prosecute the clergy. Many crimes committed by both sides have opened the wounds. I don't want to do any of those, to be honest. Let's stick. Let's just let the political stuff keep going. Yeah, we'll keep that going for now. So. Right, we've repelled the Calais laws. Now we're going to go for anti disestablishmentarianism. Right, the true faith has been abused by the revolutionary junta for decades now. Churches, monasteries, and requeries, don't know what that is, requeries, are formerly owned by the state with clergymen requiring licenses from the government to tend to their flocks. Some states have a single priest with tens of thousands of faithful. Let us drop this requirement and allow churches to own their properties once again. 
There we go. Right, so the US is staying neutral. Go. We've got tanks done now. So what I would like is engineering. Oh, we haven't got support equipment. Let's do that as well. We need to get our armies uh, more modern. No point having an army if it's using pickaxes, is it? anti-disestablishmentarianism right so we've given the churches back now we're going to rewrite the constitution places the state above the church making marriage a civil act preventing the clergy from endorsing political candidates and refusing to recognize the catholic church as a source of moral authority in mexico we must address these inconsistencies by formally re-establishing re the catholic faith as a state religion there we go. We are having the Catholic faith as our state religion. We definitely need some more military factories as well, don't we? That's something we're struggling with at the minute is production. What are those? So that that's going to be the priority. There we go. So it's filtering through now. Leadership purge in the USSR. Now, do we go League of Columbus or the League of Christ? We are righting the wrongs of, of the revolution. Inevitable spirit befitting agents of Christ. But we've only just begun. We need an organization to seek out and punish the criminals who attack the Holy Church. As it seems, as it says in the book of Exodus, take an eye for an eye. There we go. We're going to go for the League of Christ. If I can have any of these, a charmer. Social reformer. Native Mayan. Yeah, let's get that guy in. It keeps the stability up. Because at the moment, we're only 58% stable. Mexicans like America and America don't like the Mexicans. Games has concluded. Right, we've got support weapons done. Right, now then. I could do with some mountaineers, couldn't I? If we're going to head through Central America, we're going to need mountaineers. Paratroopers wouldn't be a bad idea either, to be honest. Ships, we don't seem to have much. See, these are the extra little bits you can put on ships. So let's... I've got early submarines. Are we really going to use subs? I don't think we are. What tactical bombers, right. We're gonna use the tack bombers. We're gonna use like a blitzkrieg tactic. So we've got 13 of those. Let's get them into service. Nurture them. There we go. So we've merged those two together. So 
we'll consume fuel. Yeah, yeah, okay. We don't mind consuming fuel. We've still got five years worth of fuel. So we're all right for fuel. Excellent. Now we're looking for the Legion of Christ. We can modify the government again. Mexican Ford. Yeah, we'll definitely go for that. We're going to need all the help we can, aren't we? Right, we've got the Legion of Christ now. Uh, has National Spirit, Catholic State. We'll do these church schools. The Revolutionary Generals sought to brainwash the youth in socialist re-education camps they called schools. We must place religion in the classroom once again. There we are. So we get religion in there again. So what we're basically doing is modernising Mexico. For 20 years, Mexican presidents have been openly and tactically hostile to the church. A few simple gestures may go a long way to reconciling. Right, shall we? He has now stepped aside, so we pardon them. Transfer lands to the church. Can we do that? No, that's not available yet. We can do that one. Reconci reconciliation. Let's try and make friends again. The most reverend Pascal Diaz Yaboreta, Archbishop of Mexico City, has passed away today. He was 59. His legacy is one of a hardline opposition to the socialist policies of the government, together with attempts to compromise towards the end of the Cristero War. His successor is Luis Marie Martinez, a social reformer and personal friend of President Cardenas. The successor was probably selected by the Pope to ensure continued peace between the Church. Burning Hell Traitor. That's not very nice, is it? Ah, that's the other guy in it. Replace his powerful church with Catholic state. Let's go for that. Because that's what we want. We want a Catholic state, don't we? That's what we're aiming for. But one time decision, which is putting my stability up. But it's pushing everything else down, so we've got, we've got to be careful about this stability issue we're having. This is the amount of divisions that each line will train before being removed. So it's training seven divisions. Let's add you to there. Yeah, that seems to be working. So what we could possibly do with is support equipment. Right, we've got church schools. Let me just do the research first. We've got an extra slot. Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. What I do fancy is getting my industry up, so let's start machine tools. 
And now we've done church school. We've still got to get that support up. Recent instabilities of military rebellion, peasant revolt and the Cristero War and the government's bloody response to those and to the petty crimes have resulted in an atmosphere of fear. People no longer talk freely, right? Let's abolish capital punishment. So once we get rid of capital punishment, Okay, there we go. Let's do four divisions. Yeah, they're filling up, so they're going to do nicely. We're building a nice army anyway. There we go. We've got some nice tactical bombers. It's a heavy fighter, long range and powerful weapons. They're good for protecting bombers at range and intercepting enemy bombers. So let's just get ourselves a decent fighter. And our little tanks are going to have light artillery. What I might do actually is improve my current artillery. It's in my template, so I might as well improve that as well. I'll be able to modify the government again. Theorist. Air warfare military theorist. I wouldn't mind someone who is actually... Let's have a look at, uh, there's an industry one there. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, I wanna, as soon as we nationalize the oil again. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So we're in 1937. So I can't do that one, can I? One of the following, no. So because I'm heading down this path. I could purge the bureaucracy. Or ban the political militias. Let's do that. We don't want political parties having armies, do we really? What's missing? Close air support. Right, planes. Close air support. There. Right, now then, attend public mass. Pardon the fighters. No, I don't really want any of those, do I? I could attend public mass. Let's attend public mass because we are going to be a Christian Catholic nation. Keep that going. World tensions at nine percent already. What's missing production? Right, got basic tools now. 
I'm not going to need synthetic oil, are Because we've got oil fields. We'll concentrate our factories. What's it saying it's missing? Artillery is missing. Let me just let this push up a little bit and then we'll get artillery on the go again, I think. Cancel that. Get my artillery. Sometimes generals and governors have seen their personal power dissipate. As the central government becomes better at keeping the unruly Guadillos in check. Mexico's history of rebellion, our regional warlords seem to be dying out. Unfortunately, we failed to act against General Castillo. He has now retained the service of enough pardoned rebels and ruthless bandits to try and overthrow the government. So we are now at war. Right. So we need to get you boys on the border. You boys there. And you boys there. Now we've got some tactical bombers. You're going to fly close air support. Okay. And there we go. You are interception. No, you can do air superiority. And you can do close air support as well. So that's all of our fighters out fighting. Let's get a couple of generals in here as well. And you. Right, these need to get up there quickly, don't they? Oh shit, they're still on exercise. Why aren't they pushing up? Why aren't you pushing up? Jesus Christ. Right. So that's going to be the front line. All of that is you. Your front line is just going to be there, 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 and there. But they're not moving. That's bloody ridiculous. pushing ourselves they're not gonna do it I'm gonna have to do it myself depoliticize the army as well God, they've taken Mexico City already. Jesus Christ. There we go. We've got some on the border now. Let's just get them in position. Let's... You need to push in. Get pushing in, boys. I'm 
his services. He seems to have pushed himself too far. As a result of the bad climate of his operations, has fallen ill. Uh oh. God, I think I might lose this already. Right, we are. We're losing it. I don't fucking believe it. Right, you. Let's delete that. And that, that is now going to be our front line. This is going to be a very, very short game. Superior firepower doctrine. Low manpower, it's low manpower because we're being fucking pushed back. Professional army. Wow. What a game that was. We got no score and we died. Right, well, that was shit. Right, so we've had our first playthrough of Mexico. There's a lot more to learn, I think, on this bad boy. So what I'll do, I'll call it a day there. And we'll come back on tomorrow night. We'll do a longer one. And it will last longer, I promise you. Right, cheers, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.